So last time I talked to you, you were supposed to fight Dillian White. This was back in October, I think. Um, Dillian White, obviously, he stepped out of the fight. He said he had a uh, shoulder injury, mysterious shoulder injury. Then he reappeared, and he's fighting Tyson Fury now. Yeah. <laughs> I know you were annoyed with the situation before. Now that the, the Dillian White Tyson Fury fight is coming up, are you still kind of annoyed about it? Yeah, I don't. I try to move on. You know, in boxing, you have to have short term memory, and that's what I got. So I don't really care about it. It was just annoying when it happened, and it's. I mean, it's very clear what they what they did. So, you know, just got to move on and go for other things. How do you think that fight is going to be? Dillian White, Tyson Fury, it's a big fight in the UK, obviously. It's a, two British guys. How do you think that fight is going to play out? <clears throat> I think that Fury is going to outbox him. I think he's too, too uh, big and too good of a boxer for him. And I think that White, you know, he has some power, but he doesn't have fast hands or fast feet and... He needs that if he's got to beat Fury. So I don't think that he's going to do that. I think that Fury is going to outbox him and, and beat him on a decision. All right. Obviously, another fight that's suppo supposed to happen was Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk. Usyk is obviously in the Ukraine. He's Ukrainian. He's fighting in the Ukrainian Defense Force. There's not. We're not sure what's going to happen with that situation. In the meantime, it, it looks like Anthony Joshua wants to fight an interim fight before he fights Usyk, whenever that Usyk uh, situation resolves. He's named you as one of the opponents, Joe Joyce, a couple other guys. Is that a fight that you do want now, Anthony Joshua, right now? Yeah, yeah, of course. I think first and foremost, I want to say that I hope that Usyk and, and all the Ukrainians are going to be safe. That's the most important. But if Usyk can't fight, I, I, I want to fight him, of course. And I feel like I have the most stylistically the the most similar style to Usyk I'm a southpaw and I, I fight somewhat similar to him so I think it would be a no-brainer for Joshua if he if he wants to prepare for Usyk he should she should have me in there but the only the only way they wouldn't do that is because I'm, I would be too big of a risk to beat him do you think that he'll actually pick you to fight him next I don't I don't I don't know I think I mean it's a big risk but I'm, you know, I'm, I think I'm by far the most, the guy that's most similar to Usyk. So it depends on, you know, how much they want to gamble. Are you ready? I mean, I think you fought a couple, maybe a month ago. I'm not sure when you last fought. Are you ready to go again? Are you, are you wanting to come, get back into the, into the ring? Yeah, of course. I only had, you know, one fight last year, uh, one fight before that. So I want to be active and, and I'm training like I have a fight tomorrow. So. I'm ready for it, and and you know if I get the chance, that would be really good. Other than Joshua, is there anybody else that you would like to face? I think anybody, anybody that can lead me to a title shot. I think you know that's my goal: fight for a world title and be a world champion. So, I think any guy that would take me there, I will fight. And you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of good fights out there. It's just what makes the most sense. Um. I mean, you're clearly a top 10 guy. There's, there's, your name is being attached to something that people don't want to fight you. You're getting that reputation that you're a top 10 guy, but nobody really wants to fight you. Why do you think that is? I think they look at it as big risk and low reward right now. You know, I had a, had a, that fight with Fury where I showed everybody that I belong at the top. And, you know, nobody else had really been able to do what I did with him. And it was a good fight, so... I think that people are looking at that and saying, you know, we don't really need this guy. He's a southpaw. He's a tricky style and smart fighter. So I think it's a big risk and, and low reward. So I think for myself, I just got to keep fighting and keep making my ways up the rankings to get better. And there will be a bigger reward, you know, for the guys to fight me. If it was actually like an eliminator or, or you know, things like that on the line. Um, the, the you talk about the Fury fight, you gave Fury a tough fight, but that fight was already two, maybe three years ago. How do you feel you've grown as a boxer since that fight? Yeah, I mean, that was what two, two and a half years ago, something like that. It happened in 2000, 2019 in September, so 
I think that, you know, just from that fight, going 12 rounds with the world champion, that's, that was really good for me. I hadn't been on that level before. So I think that experience has really helped me get better and to understand what I need to work on and what I'm good at and the things I got to get better at. And then I've had, you know, three fights, I think, after that. So I'm getting better all the time. I had two more years of training and everything. So I feel like I'm, I'm coming into my own now. I'm, I'm 31, but I haven't had a tough career. So I'm in good shape and I'm, I'm, I'm in kind of young for heavyweight. So I feel like I'm developing all the time and, and getting better. Uh, I'm not sure if you can answer this question, but Anthony Joshua says he has a, an announcement coming up. Have you guys spoken to, to Joshua's team about a fight? Yeah, not me personally, but my promoter, Dimitri, has. Uh, I haven't talked to Dimitri lately, so I haven't heard any news, but I don't really know. It's, that announcement is not me, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm figuring maybe... At, at maybe least you don't know. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm figuring maybe it's an announcement, maybe to say, hey, I'm taking an interim fight or or the Usyk fight will be on. I don't know. Okay, hopefully, you know, hopefully the whole Usyk situation clears up. Hopefully you get a big fight soon. It seems like, I think they did rank you top 10 or somebody ranked you top 10 recently, right? Like ESPN or something? Yeah, ESPN. It seems like... I, I, think, I think that's a good sign because they are independent or should be independent. So, you know, with these other rankings, you know, it's a little up and down, you know, different guys in the rankings. But I, I mean, I'm definitely one of the top 10 in the world. And, and I, I think for you, it's at least being able to prove that you're in the top five. I think the, 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 probably the most frustrating part you, for you for the white fight was that you could have put beating, if you were to beat white, you would have been in that top five automatically, right? I think that could have been like yeah. probably the most frustrating thing for you, not yeah. getting the white fight. Right. And it also, the winner of our fight, we were going to fight Fury. And then, the, you know, they kind of just cut me out of the equation, which was annoying, of course. But they, it was a perfect opportunity for me. But it shows that the opportunities are going to come. I just got to keep working for it. And I get another opportunity.